Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of a web page with the help of Phantom JS driver. So first thing, you have to import Selenium web driver, Selenium Phantom JS, Phantom JS driver, then Selenium Phantom JS, Phantom JS driver service, and then Selenium remote desired capabilities. These are the class files that are so start with desired capabilities caps equals to new desired capabilities then caps dot set javascript enable method needs to be imported here so let's search with that set java script enabled to true okay after that let's call for set capability set capability and here we will check for string capability and platform value okay set capability then phantom js driver service dot phantom js path property okay so this should be changed to executable property so let's check for phantom js underscore executable underscore path okay and then here within double quotes I'm going to type the path for phantom js so let's go to the main directory and here you can copy address as text and paste it on eclipse id okay then i'm going to type in phantom js.exe okay make sure that it's backward slash okay so get that out of the way Let's go ahead and import web driver and call for new phantom JS driver. All right, then call for driver.get and point to n.wikipedia.org. Once we have that part we can now create file scr file equals to takes screenshot okay screenshot then we will call for driver after that we will get screenshot as and here we will type output type dot file okay so we will get our output file type after that we will call for file details dot copy file and destination should be let's say D then double slash sample dot jpg okay and this should be new file and this should be method after that Right now, let's check out some of the errors here. Okay, so change this to executable path property. Okay, then also import file Java IO. Okay, and for text screenshot, you should import specific for OpenQL Selenium 
and take screenshot okay then output file type should be org open QS selenium output type okay after that CR file make sure that we properly given this variable so this cannot be resolved so let's check out why so okay so I properly copied that instance of file now everything looks correct for me so let me just go ahead and run the program to check how our screenshot looks okay so we will simply go to the D drive and here we will find our sample.jpg okay so sample.jpg is here let's open it and you will find wikipedia page captured in a screenshot Okay, so that means Costra Phantom JS driver can be used for taking screenshot of our bugs or errors. So you can pause the video now, check the classes that we imported, also the code that we used for taking the screenshot with the help of Phantom JS driver.